Hello and welcome to the new lesson on PowerShell. In this lesson we will talk about what is PowerShell and how you can use it for Azure administration. PowerShell is an interactive command line interface and automation engine which is designed by Microsoft to help design system configurations and automate administrative tasks. You can use it for automation like uh, copying data from to, to and from a remote machine or clearing data from a specific directory periodically or basically you can adapt it to any use case as required. So in this lesson we will discuss PowerShell in context of Azure. So with PowerShell we can provision resources in Azure. We can create virtual machines, not only create them but also define the parameters for their creation. Let's say what will be the operating system, what will be the storage type, what will be the specs of the virtual machine. Moreover we can also set up a script uh, to start and stop virtual machine at a particular time. Similarly, we can create storage accounts or provision Azure database instances as required. We can also manage Azure Active Directory with PowerShell. We can create users and assign them roles and access permissions as well using PowerShell. In short, everything that we can do on the Azure portal via graphical user interface is possible through PowerShell. So yes, that's enough with the theory. Let's jump right into it. Now assuming that you are already on Windows 10, you can find your PowerShell right in your start menu. Let's go to the start menu and type in PowerShell. So we can see our PowerShell application appears right in the start menu and it's better to run it as an administrator so I'm going to click on run as administrator. And then this is the PowerShell screen, this is the PowerShell interface, okay. So before I can use the Azure commandlets, I have to install, I have to download and install a package which I'm going to show you right now. The package is called AZCMD Let's and this is the version and this is the architecture okay so if you need 64 bit or 32 bit you can just type in, go in Google AZCMD Let's and you can easily download it from Google and then installation would be simple click next and finish. So once you install this package you will be able to use the Azure commandlets. So the objective of this lab is to create a user using PowerShell in our Azure portal and then create a group and then add that newly created user to that group so that will be the overall objective of this lab but before we do that the first thing that we have to do is to connect our PowerShell with the Azure portal or Azure account so the command for that is connect hyphen az account so if I press tab it's gonna automatically complete the command from me given the spellings are correct so now if I press enter it will ask me for my Microsoft login credentials. So the pop-up will appear any minute now. So here it comes. So I'm going to use this ID which is my ID. And then I have to enter the password. So I'm going to enter my password. And simply click sign in. Now once that is done, our PowerShell should connect to the Azure account and the confirmation appears just here. So you see we are connected with our Azure account using this ID. Okay so now that we are successfully logged into our Azure account let's go ahead and create the user. But before we create the user we have to store the password for the user in an encrypted form because if I try to create the user uh, by providing it a uh, password in a plain text it will give me an error okay. So let's see how we can uh, how we can store some encrypted text in a variable. So this is the syntax for securing for storing a variable and then I would type secure string string and then this is going to be my password and then the last parameter would be You might want to note down these commands because these are very very basic commands but very useful ones. So if I press enter this variable now has encrypted password. Now this variable I'll be using in my next command for creating a new user. So the commandlet for creating new user is new azad user. 
Now this command also requires me to give some parameters before it can create a user for us. So the first mandatory parameter for this command would be display name. So let's say the name of the user is John Doe. Now the second parameter would be user principal. Sorry. User principal name. Now let's go back to the portal for a moment and to remind you how the, the user principal name looks like and how do we have to provide that. So the user principal name is actually the username at, I'm sorry. So the user principal name is actually the, the username at domain.onmicrosoft.com. So this is basically the default domain that we got with this subscription. But if you have more custom domains in your uh, in your Azure account, you can always go ahead and use that. So for now, I'm going to copy these domains. And then let's say I will type JD and then paste the domain dot on Microsoft.com so I don't have to type it all the way down. And then the next parameter would be password. And the password would be that variable which holds the encrypted text as a password and the last but not the least the final parameter would be mail nickname so the mail nickname would be let's say John Doe without space so if I click enter it will create a new user for us so we can see the user has now been created now if you want to verify it from the portal we can always check that so I'm already on the users page so I will refresh it and then I should be able to see the newly created user in the list here just give it a minute and as you can see the new user named John Doe has been created if you want to see the existing users using PowerShell we can do that as well so the command for that is get hyphen azad user if I press enter I can see all the users in my Azure account in my active directory so let's say if I see this user Ali here I can verify that from portal as well you see this user we can see over there as well now there is an important attribute which is ID which you can see for each and every user in our Azure active directory now this attribute is very very important in the upcoming task which we in which we will create a group and then try to add uh, this user to that group okay so remember the ID this ID is basically a unique identifier for all the Azure resources this ID is provided by Azure and it is unique for all the resources in our Azure account now let's go ahead and see the existing groups in our Azure Active Directory so I will clear the screen the command for that is CLEAR simply clear and then in order to see the existing groups in our active directory the command is get azad group so if I press enter I can see all the groups here now we can also verify from the portal so if I go back to my home screen to our Azure active directory and then navigate to groups and let's see I have this group here uh, IT cloud administrators so if I come back to my uh, PowerShell I can see this group right here IT cloud administrators so let's say if you want to see only the display name of these groups because this is quite a lot of information so let's say if you want to see if you want to know only that how many groups are there and which are they so we can also do that the command for that would be get az ad group and then this sign and then select and what is the parameter simply display name so if I press enter now it shows only the display names of all the groups so once again I have cleared the screen now let's go ahead and create a new group so the commandlet for that is new azad group okay let me give an example let's say um, I do not know what are the mandatory parameters for this uh, for this command so if I simply press enter it's going to automatically prompt me for the mandatory uh, immediate mandatory parameter 
So from this, I know that the next immediate parameter for this command is display name. So let's say the display name for my group would be, I call it custom group, so the name is custom. I press enter and then the nickname, let's say that is custom as well. And that's it, the group has been created. So if I want to verify that, I can verify, verify that from the portal as well. So I will type get azad group. Now in here I should be able to see my group which was custom you can see display name custom now if you want to verify it from the portal we can always go ahead and do that I will refresh this page because I'm already on the group page and I should be able to see my custom group here there you go now that the group has been created let's go ahead and try to add our newly created user to this group so the commandlet for that would be add hyphen azad group member. I'm sorry. A add azad group member. Now if I press enter, it's going to ask me for member object ID. Now this member object ID is actually the ID of that user. Now how do we how do we find this out? We can type in the command get azad user and then it's going to list down all the users for me. So I'll try to find out my user which was John Doe and then this is the ID that I'm going to need in my next commandlet. So I will copy this ID by using right click and then if I, if I want to paste it I can press right click again. So I'm going to clear the screen and then type in my previously entered command again using arrow keys which was add azad group member and then the next id is, the next parameter is member object id and the member object id I, I have already copied now the next parameter is going to ask me is the target group object ID. Now this target group object ID will actually be the ID of the group that I want to create user to. So target group object ID. Now I can get the target group object ID from the PowerShell as well but for the sake of simplicity I'll just go ahead to the portal and try to extract the ID from there. So I'm going to navigate to my active directory go to the groups and then copy this ID from here and then I can simply paste it over here so it looks like it did not copy correctly so I'll copy it once again and then paste it here now if I press enter the user should be added to this new group if I want to verify it, first let's verify it from the Azure portal. So if I go into my newly created group, I can see the direct members and it says one user. Like one user has been added. Now let's verify it from the users section as well. I'm going to click to the users. And then I'm going to click on my user which is John Doe. And then under group section, I should be able to see this new group which means that this user now is member of this group okay now we can also verify it from the portal okay the way we can do that is get azad group member now if i press enter it asks it tells me that uh, object id cannot be null from this i know that the next immediate parameter would be object id so i'm going to navigate to my command again and then provide the object ID object ID now this object ID is actually the the, 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 uh, the ID of this group which I have already copied so I will paste it here and I can see the user John Doe which means that this user John Doe is now part of this group okay now we have already verified from the portal so you see this is how easy it is we just have to learn some basic commands and we can administer our Azure Active Directory now we can also find out commands uh, like uh, how we can uh, start virtual machines or do other stuff with PowerShell as well. Okay, but this is this is the the starting point for PowerShell users. Okay, 
those users those uh, the, the, those viewers who just want to get into powershell this uh, this video this lesson is the starting point so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video